Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here with another layout using um, a layout that I had made when I went on my crop way back in November. So I'm just about caught up. I think I only have two or three maybe layouts left to upload. And this one was, I think it was a kit that I had probably made a few years ago and it was still in my stash of kits you know to put together so I brought that one as you know an extra one and it was a picture of my second daughter and her best friend and this was they were still in high school so it was quite a few years ago and I cut the picture down to four by four and then I mat matted the photo in the center of that dark green cardstock and then I'm just gonna Put a little border and I like to put my picture in the center of the cardstock like that because then I don't feel like I have scraps I just have still a full sheet and I can use it to mat a whole layout if I want to now this page kit was put together I guess or what I put together in this page kit was a lot of scraps and so I'm just going to use those scraps and then the background pattern had a few sort of like um, speech bubbles on on it uh, you know one said hello I love you and then the rest of them were still like speech bubbles or squares or rectangles but with no words in it so I decided to use the background and um, you know use it the way it was and then just add some embellishments in all of the different squares and kind of build up the background that way so basically it had the background um, was already divided into blocks but it was just outline blocks and then I decided to use that to sort of you know to plan where my embellishments were going to go so I had quite a bit of embellishments in this page kit and so I'm just taking them out taking some labels cutting them in two using some other ones you know some round labels to um, get started on my embellishments so I like using labels or circles or rectangles or squares as the embellishment foundation and then from there I start building up on the embellishments Okay, so while I'm doing that and putting a little bit of, you know, the embellishments down, I just want to let you know I didn't have a video go up on Monday. So this week, instead of Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, it's going to be Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So I'll still have three videos up. I'll just change the days um, just because I had my rotation this week and I was working Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, and I was still sick when I started my rotation, so I had to go to work, you know, not feeling good, so by the time I would get home, I was like totally zonked and exhausted, and I would just, you know, go to sleep and then just go to work the next day. So I finished this morning, today is Wednesday, and um, so it's now Wednesday night, it's about 8.30 at night, and I thought, well, I'll just do a quick, you know, voiceover and so there won't be pictures at the end of this video but what I'm going to do is tomorrow I'll take the time to take pictures and then I'll put the pictures on my Facebook group and I'll put it um, a few places on you know social media I upload it on Twitter I upload it on Instagram and um, I, I have two Facebook groups uh, my main one which is you know for everyone to join and then I have one for my classes and it's just Nicole Jones 911 classes so if you have taken some classes of mine I used I used to have a different Facebook group for all the different classes that I had but that got to be too much you know too many Facebook groups to handle. So everything is now going to be in Nicole Jones 911 classes. So if you've taken any classes and you want to join in on the chatter and just, you know, share some stuff, make sure to uh, join the Facebook group, Nicole Jones 911 classes. And then my regular one is Nicole Jones 911. And then some exciting stuff that's coming up is next week is March already, which is crazy. But I am going to be doing, and there's going to be a little announcement or a little 
a clip at the end that's going to show my scrapathon. So it's going to go from March 1st to March 31st. So basically, that's going to be basically a class. So um, it's going to go up uh, for sale either tomorrow or Friday, depending if I can get the rest of it uh, uploaded by tomorrow. Tomorrow. And if not, it'll be done by Friday. And so when you sign up, the first thing you're going to do is, you know, what I got, what I did to get ready for the Scrapathon. And then every day in March, you'll, every day there's going to be a new video uploaded in the class section. Now there's also going to be a Facebook group. And every day we're going to chat in the Facebook group. I'm going to be, end up uh, doing some uh, Facebook lives and we'll talk about uh, more about it, you know, how many and all that stuff. And I'll have scheduled dates. We're going to have challenges. It's just going to be sort of a scrap party and it's going to last all month long. So stay tuned for that. More information to, you know, follow really shortly on that. So, but I'm super excited. I have all 31 ideas that I want to do for the entire month. So it's already all planned out. It's all ready to go. And I can't wait to get started next week. But it, when you sign up, I, I, I'm going to put it up for sale a week before so that you can get ready also and be all ready for March 1st so that we can hit the ground running. So anyway, back to this layer. As you can see, I used quite a bit of um, the embellishments that I had. And one of the die cuts said family. And I thought it was a good one to put on this layout because these two have been best friends since grade nine. And that kid is like, she's her family. And I decided to put that one there next to the other speech bubbles. I found that it really balanced the other speech bubbles really well. And then I did a little embellishment cluster at the top of that die cut. Then I used a puffy sticker that was a tag, that was a huge puffy sticker. And I put it to the right side of the layout. I put some embellishments right above the photo and then some more that was attached to the photo. I just used some labels again as my embell embellishment foundation. And then it gives you sort of a a spot where you can start building your embellishments. And then I know it's hard to see, but on the page, there's other little squares other than those little speech bubbles that are printed on the background. And um, like I said, I'm going to put some pictures on my Facebook group and other social media tomorrow. So you'll be able to see some close ups there. But um, then I'm going to start doing some embellishment clusters in those other squares and anything that I talk about. So my classes, the link is in the description box below to my Facebook group. The link is in the description box below. I have an Instagram account that that's fairly new. I had one a few years ago, but somehow it got deleted. So I had to start it all over again. So my Instagram is Nicole dot jones 911 and i'm going to start uploading there all the time you know some pictures and stuff and uh, twitter it's nicole jones 911 so everything is nicole jones 911 so if you want to follow me on all those other social medias because that you know a lot of times that's where i post um, a lot of the pictures is that's where i post them um, everything is in the link down below now at the bottom of the layout i'm trying to see if i can put um you know, a little subtitle and I'm going to use my doodle bug Tinsy type and that's going to say friends. And that's sort of like my little subtitle. So this was a lot of fun to do. It was um, sort of the background was already done for me and then I just kind of took the embellishments and kind of went from there. So that's going to complete my layout. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. If you're enjoying these videos, if you wouldn't mind, give me a thumbs up and maybe leave me a comment down below. And don't forget to be watching for more information regarding the Scrapathon that's going to last the entire month of March. And we will talk to you soon. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.